Joining me now is Missouri Senator Josh Hawley. Senator, good to have you on tonight. What is the solution here? Because I have a lot of friends uh, who are chattering in my ear uh, day in and day out, and they say, well, look, we want the Republicans to win, but Republicans, when they get into power, they tend to punt these big issues and government never gets cut. What are we going to see? Well, I think what we've seen, Laura, in the last two years is we've gotten an up-close look at the corruption that is in our government, whether we're talking about the FBI, whether we're talking about DOJ, or whether we're talking about the kind of self-dealing that you have just outlined. And Republicans need to get serious about rooting out this corruption. It has got to be priority number one. By the way, Congress can start with itself. You want to talk about not doing self-dealing? How about Congress pass an actual stock trading ban, which is what I propose? If Republicans want to lead on this issue, this ought to be something that they run on. This ought to be something that we pledge to do. I've introduced the legislation. Let's get it done. And once we ban stock trading among members of Congress, let's turn to DOJ. Let's turn to the FBI. Let's have a top-to-bottom review of what's going on at these increasingly corrupt agencies. It is time to give this government back to the American people. But, Laura, it's not going to happen unless we root out the corruption. Well, and I think you raise, raise the DOD, and this is like the subject about which we can never speak if we're Republicans. You can never cut the Department of Defense. You can never cut military spending because then you're anti-military. Well, I've called this out, Senator, and I think it's time for Republicans to get real on this issue because there is enormous waste, fraud, and abuse across government including at the Pentagon, where we spend most of our money in the budget, at least. Do you agree? Well, you know, uh, well, li listen, look at the Pentagon. Look at what they're spending a lot of that money on, Laura. It's these woke policies in the military. I mean, you see right now they're in the midst of a major recruiting crisis, our military is, which is, <laughs> which is terrible and it's dangerous for the country. But why is that the case? It's because they are forcing critical race theory, this wokeism across the military, and they're spending taxpayer dollars to do it. So do we need to review what's going on at the Pentagon? You bet we do. There shouldn't be a dime spent on this critical race theory no nonsense. There shouldn't be a dime spent on this woke theory. But that is a top priority of this administration under Joe Biden's leadership. So, yeah, there needs to be a top to bottom review. That's the kind of corruption, frankly, that I'm talking about. And Republicans need to lead on it. Now, here's one of, uh, I think, D.C.'s biggest swamp creatures, Senator, Congressman Jamie Raskin, who was ranting on and on about the prospect of holding these government bureaucrats accountable for bias. Watch. Professional civil servants must be able to do their jobs without fear of retaliation and discharge for political reasons. The previous administration attempted to turn our civil service, Mr. Speaker, into a top-down political and ideological party machine. The 50,000 civil servants deemed to be involved in formulating policy could have been swept up in a Schedule F political purge. Senator, they are sweating a review of the civil service. And this is at a time where most government employees are still not back in the office. They're not even here. Yeah, exactly. And that, by the way, by the way, that review of the civil service needs to happen, Laura. We absolutely need to look at what is happening in the civil service. But listen, you want to talk about politicizing the civil service. Look at this administration. Look what they've done to the FBI. Look at what they've done to the Department of Justice. Look at the fact that they are conducting raids on, on pro-life Catholic demonstrators to what? Make a point. Look at what they've done to parents sending the FBI to their doors if they go to school board meetings and complain. I mean, you want to talk about politicizing things. This is exactly the kind of corruption that needs to be investigated, that needs to be rooted out. And finally, I just say this. Let's not forget who told FBI whistleblowers not to come forward. It was Merrick Garland who sent a memo out to all DOJ employees and said, don't talk to Congress. Don't blow the whistle. You've got to go through me. That's not the law. So I t you talk about double standards, Laura. It's double standards all around. And that's why Republicans have got to make an anti-corruption agenda priority number one. Yeah, and you agree it should be agency by agency, no one spared. No one spared. Absolutely. We need to look at what they're doing with taxpayer money. We need to look at what they're doing in terms of pushing this woke policies. We need to look at the self-dealing in terms of the stock trading and the insider trading. All of it needs to be on the table. If, if Americans send Republicans back to Congress in, in majorities, and I think they will, this is what they'll be electing us to do is to you protect bet. their interests, the people's interests, and to stand up for them.
Senator, great to see you. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.